it is time here in the MacGuffin for yet another lightning round. Our newest segment. Uh, off camera, our other MacGuffineers besides Henry and myself There's are like going to log some questions our way, and we will have one minute for each topic. So, anytime you want to stretch, because this is going to be. No, I don't want to stretch. All right. All right. Who's the biggest badass, Hercules or the Beastmaster? Oh. Beastmaster. Hands down. Uh, I mean, he's got the ferrets, right? <laughs> like, they're trained. Like, yeah. He's got, like... Definitely. You know. And when I was a kid, I used to get him confused with Tarzan and... What's his name? Skeletor? Masters of the Universe? Mm -hmm. What was that guy's name? He-Man. I used to think they were all the same people. No, Beastmaster's very different. Yeah? Yeah. I don't know, but if we're talking Hercules... Like, what Hercules are we talking? Like, we basically got one Beastmaster that we're working with. There's Hercules Two, in there's New like York. There's like a series or whatever. Yeah. We got a lot of different kinds of Hercules. Are we talking Disney Hercules? Are we talking Kevin Sorbo Hercules? Arnold. Are we talking the Hercules in the original myth that murders his family? <laughs> like, yeah, that guy's cool. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but like, what was it like? A Hercules in New York or something where Arnold Schwartz? No, that was Caesar or something. Who was that? Arnold's first movie. I'm pretty sure it was called Hercules in New York. I don't yeah. know if it really had anything to do with the actual... That movie. guy's a badass. I think it was just a bodybuilding movie. Because everywhere he's coming... <laughs> oh, right. Best Wes Craven movie. Scream. Really? <laughs> it was the first thing popped in my head. No, <laughs> but I really do, really, really like the original Scream. People under the stairs, hands down. I've never seen it. Really? Yeah. It's fantastic. Nightmare on Elm Street. That's a that's close too. Right? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I I do really like the first Nightmare on Elm Street too, but like, like. Yeah. I, I didn't I watched it like what forever ago like and so then I, and I didn't Scream. like it very much and then I like I watched it when the new one came out and I was like this movie kicks ass like why didn't I like it before, but uh. So what makes Scream your favorite? I don't know. I mean, it's just like you know it it came out right when I was getting really into horror movies and it was just like yeah. This Drew Barrymore came back from a coke binge, so I was pretty excited about that. Yeah. She you was know. at the very beginning and got cut up. <laughs> When they get hit so with you oars. like that? Yeah, like the, totally. You like that she got cut up? All right, yeah, okay. Should John Landis be blamed for the Twilight Zone incident? No, totally not. Do you know no, about the I don't know what Twilight that means. Zone? So twi <laughs> Twilight Zone was this movie. I'm gonna say '80s. I believe it, it was made in the '80s, and John Landis did this amazing bit where this guy, this bigot, goes back in time and relives uh, things like the Vietnam War or whatnot. There's a helicopter that's going on, and uh, two people, I believe it was two children, get chopped up by the helicopter propeller in real life, and so that's why they. John, start why are you asking these terrible questions? <laughs> I didn't need to know that that happened. Because the man has taste, obviously. <laughs> uh, should he be responsible for doing it? No. Should he be responsible for not capturing it on film? Yes. Like, keep the cameras rolling. Oh, God. I assume the next question is about Roman Polanski. <laughs> I'm Bring him back, really. I mean, it was so long ago. She wanted it. Best Robin Hood adaptation. This is never gonna make Robin it. Robin Hood adaptation. I mean, it's got to be the Disney cartoon, right? I yeah, mean, come on. Men in Tights for sure. No, uh, Men in Tights <laughs> is pretty funny. I like. I'll admit to liking Men in Tights actually. Yeah, I wouldn't call it the best adaptation though. No. That was like my first introduction to the chastity belt, and <laughs> like so, whenever people started saying safe sex, that's what I thought safe sex was. Nice, but I mean, I mean, in seriousness, it's got to be like the original Errol Flynn, right? Like, it's a good one. Yeah, yeah. men in tights. Right? <laughs> no, that's Gary Elwes. <laughs> oh, right. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the cartoon was really good because it was the first time I fell in love with the uh, fox. What is this now? He's re oh, oh Kev. he yeah. wants me to say Kevin Costner, but I believe we <laughs> talked about Waterworld. <laughs> <laughs> Or the postman. <laughs> what are you doing over there? This is very scary. I don't know. This is a long minute. <laughs> Worst Hitchcock movie. Oh, The Trouble with Harry. Frenzy. I can't stand The Trouble with Harry. I remember being like, oh, this is going to be great. It's going to be like a little bit satirical. It's going to be like a whole new thing for Hitchcock. I wanted to die. <laughs> like, I hate that movie. I feel like Frenzy was his only smut film. Everything else he was just... Uh, 
very practical about everything was done on purpose. And then he was like, you know what will get me more money? Some eyes gouged out, some gore. Didn't really work for me. Yeah, I've actually never seen that one. But I've it, never it seen Trouble with really Harry, so we could just like talk anything. about those movies. <laughs> what was Trouble with Harry? Oh, they find this body, and everyone's kind of like, oh, huh. I guess that happened. Hitchcock made Stand By Me? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and nobody wants to do anything about it. It's supposed to be kind of like a... I mean, I think it's supposed to be kind of like a black comedy, but no, yeah. nothing in it works. Like, it's just... I didn't like it at all. Best apocalyptic film. Post-apocalyptic or apocalyptic? <laughs> Post-apocalyptic. Okay. Jeez. Uh, I don't know. I keep thinking of book series instead. Um, the Hunger Games, when they make it into a movie, will be the best post-apocalyptic. A boy and his movie. dog. I'm not no? familiar. Okay. Uh, Dawn of the Day of the Dead. The original, not the remake with the zombies on the ceilings. You no? mean Dawn of the Dead? Day of the Dead. Because okay. they also remade it with uh, whoever. Nick Man, Cannon. Nick Cannon. There we go. We're bombing this one. We, you really need to say <laughs> something about post apocalyptic. I don't know what they are. <laughs> okay. Um, Resident Bloody. Evil 3. <laughs> Children of Men. Oh, yes. Children of Men. For sure. Yes. Children of Men. Yeah, no. Children of Men. Uh, Thunderdome. <laughs> Take it to the Thunderdome. I'll go there. He said Mad Max, but let's really talk about the greatest Pokemon post apocalyptic film ever. Or Best E.T. ripoff. <laughs> Best E.T. You, they really are trying to so hit it us has with to hard be a questions. Rip -off, but it has to be something that we like. <laughs> Best E.T. ripoff. Uh, For example, batteries not included. Harry and the Hendersons. Oh, batteries not and included. Just keep making me. It's definitely Harry not and the Hendersons. <laughs> We're really going out there. I guess there. it is kind of an ET. When Harry off. met Sally. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I love that. That's the first random movie that comes in your head when you're like, pick a random well, movie. Well, Harry and Henderson <laughs> to Harry met Sally. Um, I don't know. Let's uh, Iron Giant. I did love batteries not included as a kid. That was very like. That would have been a great double feature for nine-year-old Brandy. <laughs> yeah, it was okay. I really liked, um, I'm drawing a blank here. That was a really hard question. <laughs> E.T. 2. <laughs> they didn't make that, but Close Encounters, even though E.T. came after that. Let's go, Contact. Contact is my favorite <laughs> E.T. ripoff. I think we need to get buzzed early on some of these. I know, right? You should be able to tell when we can take the torch and run with it. Or when we just stomp it out of the sidewalk and hold our heads in shame and be like, we don't know. Worst trend in movies. Worst trend? Uh, I think he wants me to say 3D. <laughs> um, is 3D considered? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely sort of a trend. Um... I'm not really a huge fan of it, but I don't. It doesn't like personally offend me. I could take it and run and say 3D. Yeah, I could totally agree with that. Um, the blockbuster templates, where it's disaster movies, are the worst trend ever made. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Tornadoes, twisters. I don't know why these movies keep on coming out at the same time, and they're like, we're gonna use the same disaster. Dante's Peak to uh, uh, Armageddon. Volcano. Or, Volcano. There you go. <laughs> Yeah. To 2012. Oh, 20, yeah, 20, Saw that right. for the first time. <laughs> By far the greatest movie I have ever seen. Over Disney, Pixar, 2012 takes the cake. <laughs> All right. I think we're going to call it a day for this particular lightning round. I apologize to you. <laughs> <laughs> to the viewers. <laughs> I am so sorry for this. I thought I was good at the lightning rounds. I'm going to get some note cards, take some notes for you. No, you can't take notes for the lightning I'll say round. things that film buffs like, like <clears throat> Requiem for a Dream was mm -hmm. a good movie. Uh, I love the soundtrack, soundtrack to Donnie Darko. <laughs> um, the baby on the ceiling of train spotting was epic. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Yeah. All right. To well, you too. If you still want to see more of anything, um, especially after that, this guy, MacGuffinPodcast.com, and you will find anything you want there. Except for this. <laughs>